Well, probably when I was 15, I, I bought a banjo from a schoolmaster, which was my ticket, as I saw it, into playing uh, New Orleans jazz and folk blues stuff. And it was around this time that I started to appreciate that the guitar, for me, had a lot more potential than the banjo. So I started to concentrate on that more. And then when I was 16, my dad bought me my first guitar, which was a Hofner Congress, this sort of entry level. And I bought myself a little pickup that you could screw on the end of the neck. Uh, somewhere I found a small amplifier about the size of a cornflake packet and it sounded about the same, you know, very crackly. And uh, that was it, my first foray into electric guitars and that's when I was really, you know, wanting to play the guitar. The first time I picked up a Fender Stratocaster was in uh, probably the spring of 1959. Uh, we, we'd seen photographs of Buddy Holly with uh, a Fender. We didn't know which model it was, but we got the brochure from the factory, we poured over the brochure, and we found the most expensive model was the Stratocaster. And we chose to go with a red guitar, bird's eye maple neck, gold-plated hardware, and what they call a tremolo arm, which is really a vibrato bar. And this is where the, uh, the whammy bar came in for me, because I, I found that it was, well, it helped me develop a style. I could put a vibrato on the on the notes, I could hit a note and dip it with a bar, I could give it a good shake. I used to go down to a, a couple of clubs in London when we had nights off, taking the strap with me and you could get up and have a play and of course no one had seen one before and it was... And that was just me. Do you know, I really don't know how many guitars I've got but it's probably far too many. Um, I have a lot of uh, gypsy jazz guitars, probably about 12 of those, I've probably got about six or seven Stratocasters. Uh, 12 strings, um, some jazz guitars. I've got a whole range of stuff. But, uh, you know, my biggest fear actually is that when I die, my wife will sell my whole guitar collection for what I told her I paid for them. When I think about all the guitars I have, and if I had to perhaps uh, take one guitar if the place was on fire, I'd probably have to think of a Stratocaster because uh, that's been my career, although I'm playing a lot of gypsy jazz now and have some beautiful guitars there. And, uh, and I do, in fact, have the, the very first signature model that was made for me in 1989 is a really lovely guitar. And that is probably the Stratocaster that I would grab and save if the house was on fire. I've been asked sometimes, hey, what, what would be the difference if, if I hadn't learned to play guitar? I honestly don't know because I've always had a guitar since really I was 16 and it's always been very much part of my life. So it's very hard for me to imagine what life would have been without a guitar. It's unimaginable.